certain way, asking if I'm normal to myself is saying, am I in integrity with myself? Like, have I been internally consistent with some previous state of myself? And am I on the path toward being consistent with that future self so that people have some kind of normal interaction with me, right? They can expect that I'm going to be the same way. Um, but also attention towards growth and expansion and play and fearlessness and um, transformation. So in that way, it's a like push against the normal, right? I want to not be my normal self. I want to transcend the normal self. So living um, between those spaces, like not, not in one, not in the other, but in the interplay between them, right? So uh, I'm constantly disrupting my own sense of normal. So how would you diagnose yourself? Do I need a diagnosis? Like, uh, the question is um, nonsensical to me. It was meant to be. <laughs> <laughs> we just want to make sure we're on the same page. <laughs> uh, I, I think other people might diagnose me as being in a perpetual state of gratitude. And, and gratitude means what to you? Mm. Honoring what has been, being thankful for, for the, the gifts that come from every interaction or thought or experience or, um, you know, it's like it permeates everything from thankful for the food that I've eaten, thankful for the atoms that make up my body, thankful for the stars that exploded that gave rise to the atoms that make up my body, thankful for uh, the smile that I saw on the train, like thankful for... Um, you know, the, the person who kindly stepped aside so that I could walk down the sidewalk, you know, the, the like, uh, you know, big, the little, everything. And noticing all of that, taking the time to notice and take a breath of just gratitude. So, so what's it like to be you? Uh, I'm sorry, you have to be me to have that experience. <laughs> that sounds dangerous. I don't, I don't know what your experience of the world is to be able to transport what that would mean into you. Um, I think, though, that if you wanted to, you know, it takes a lot of time. I can't, like, sum it up. You know? Now... People tend to think that normal people are neither happy or unhappy. Mm -hmm. How would you describe yourself? I don't think I use the word happy very often. Um, sometimes I would say I'm way too serious. And sometimes I think... Uh, I'm quite the trickster. So, <laughs> you know, this tension thing is really important to me. I don't want, um, I think it's an illusion to believe in these kinds of polar opposites. I think we live in the paradox of things and, in, in, you know, uh, in the ever unfolding expression of tensions. So am I happy? Um, I'm joyful that I'm living in those tensions. Um, am I delighted at times, you know? Do I take pleasure in things? Absolutely. Uh, do I suffer? Do I cry? Am I miserable? You know, do I get wrenched by things? Totally. Like, but it's all, like, I'll give you a, a good story uh, that I think captures that, that experience for me. Um, I was going kayaking with my kids, uh, which I've been doing since I was a little kid. I mean, I've been kayaking. Uh, and then when my kids uh, got old enough to go, I started taking them too. And uh, I had probably scheduled too little time to get down the river. You know, it's like 40 miles in two or three days, and, uh, which is a lot of paddling. And so we were running late, you know, as you can't really manage to do in a kayak or a canoe. Like, the river goes at its pace. Um, but I couldn't stop uh, just because it was raining. And it, it started, like, really pouring rain, like, big raindrops close together, and my children were at the front of the kayak, or the canoe, sorry, it was a canoe that day, uh, you know, just hiding under this tarp, shivering in the cold, um, close together to stay warm, and uh, trying not to get wet. And I was in the back, paddling away, and laughing like crazy, uh, probably because I am crazy, uh, not normal. 
And the reason was that I thought, these are the moments that I'm going to look back on um, and take joy and delight in. So even though I would rather be warm uh, and uh, not late or not rushed or whatever, um, it was like the delight of knowing that this is a memorable experience, right? And that just made me laugh, like the dissonance of like, the being uncomfortable in the moment because I was cold and slightly shivering and having to paddle and, uh, but also the like, and this is what it's for, <laughs> is to be in these moments where I'm out in nature having to grapple with it as it is without mediating it with a car or air conditioning or, you know, like not being protected from it. So, um, so that's like my approach to happiness is like being in it uh, even if it doesn't look pretty all the time, like even if it's a, a struggle or a, uh, I find joy in that. Find joy in that. Mm -hmm. Joy. Mm -hmm. What is joy? Um, Joy to me is an exhilaration of spirit, a very temporary um, delight, but you know, uh, uprush of positive feeling. Is that a common experience among people like uh, humans? I like to think so. I don't know. I haven't done any research on, uh, you know, if other people are experiencing that a lot. I would like to think so. Since we're doing alien anthropology here, mm -hmm. what's it like to be you? You're going to ask this question again. What's it like to be me? I, I don't. I don't know. I like being me. I enjoy it. Uh, um, but you know, I'm. It's kind of like if you if you get to write the story, uh, the adventure story that you want to be on, and then you get to live that story. That's my experience. Right. I get to write the main character. I get to decide what adventures she goes on and, and the experiences she has. And, and I don't know what kind of struggles that she might, you know, encounter as she's on her quests in the world, but most of the time I'm the one writing the story. And it's fantastic and, and lovely and delightful. Not because it's easy uh, and not because I can rewrite the story to just... Um, make it pretty for people, but because it's mine. I'm getting to experience it. That, that's what it's like to be me. And, and what's it like to be a mother? It's a gift. It's a real gift. I was a, I was a philosophy major and a very serious kid, like, you know, asking, what's the purpose of life? Why do we exist? You know, lots of angsty tension around that. And then I gave birth to children, and I was like, oh, you know. I mean, I'd read other people saying things like, okay, you know, when you have kids, and I was like, no, I, this is it. I exist to have this experience and to give rise to these children, and you know, I am uh, honored to be witness to their becoming. I'm very lucky. They're two of the most amazing people I've ever met in my life. Very grateful. And growing up mm -hmm. in normal. Well, I grew up in Eureka. I was born in normal, but we moved when I was like 18 months old out to the country. Um, about eight miles from a town called Eureka. But, and now you're living back in... And now I live back in normal. But growing, growing up, yes. Did you have a question about my growing up? Yeah, have you grown up yet? 
There are different ages of me all co-occupying the same